Clarice Peters, a 115-year-old cement processing equipment manufacturer in Buxtehude, Germany, has been successful using Autodesk Generative Design for Fusion 360, even though they don't use additive manufacturing for any of their parts. They used Generative Design to optimize a heavy cast part and saved over 65% of the material used while changing to a simpler, welded design and increasing strength. This is the kind of thing Autodesk has come to expect from Thomas Nagel, Operations Director at Claudius Peters, who runs an agile team always looking for innovative ways to solve the challenges their company faces in an extremely price-sensitive marketplace. This is how Thomas and his team were able to save their company a high five-figure sum annually after four hours of training on Autodesk Generative Design in Fusion 360. The first part of any study will require you not to model the geometry you're going to build, but rather to define areas where you cannot have any geometry at all, due to fasteners or other parts of the assembly, or perhaps for access, like here. This being done, the next step is to define which areas must have geometry. These are typically attachment areas. A simple example are these bolt locations. If you're going to fasten something with a bolt, you're going to need a bolt hole. Once all of these areas are defined, you can begin defining the loads and boundary conditions present in your design. In Claudio's Peter's case, these are the locations at which the part is fixed to other parts of the assembly and the loads acting on that part due to the weight of the clinker, a substance used to make concrete, and the motors driving the movement of this part. Generative design requires only a few more pieces of information to begin creating a series of geometry suggestions for you. The system needs to know what your goal is. Here, we'd like to minimize the material used while maintaining a minimum level of strength. Then, and this is something special, we tell generative design about the kinds of machines we have available to make this part. The software will provide results which we could actually manufacture. Since at the moment we can define either additive manufacturing or 3 and 5 axis machining as our manufacturing process, Claudius Peters uses these results as a kind of suggestion. As time goes on, Autodesk is working on expanding the types of processes we can simulate, but what we have now is already a great start. Finally, one can define up to 10 different materials for the software to try out. Claudius Peters, on the other hand, is certain they want to make this thing out of steel, so that's all they chose. After all this, Pascal, the main user of generative at Claudius Peters, started the generative process by sending the analysis to the cloud, where dozens of servers at Amazon Web Services begin calculating the large number of solutions needed to provide him with actionable results. The software gives many solutions, which you can sort using diverse criteria to determine which of the suggested geometries best suit your needs. Once Pascal was satisfied that he had chosen the variant he liked most, he downloaded that file into Fusion 360, allowing him to modify it directly if he so chose. Since Claudius Peters does not use either additive manufacturing or CNC machining to manufacture these kind of parts, they use the delivered alien part, as they call it, as a kind of suggestion to develop their own geometry, which follows closely the contours of the generatively designed part, but which can be manufactured using traditional methods. While there is no high art to this, the considerable CAD capabilities of Fusion 360 allow Claudius Peters to flexibly create these geometries using a combination of traditional solid modeling, surface modeling, organic T-spine modeling, and even direct modeling workflows. The finished part was 65% lighter, stronger, and more easily manufactured with looser tolerances. That's a winning and cost-effective solution for Claudius Peters. If you'd like to find out how Autodesk, Generative Design, or Fusion 360 can help your company innovate and remain competitive in your field, get in contact with us.